Hi there, the first thing you want to do to set custom camera or angle names when you create a multicam clip is come over to the media workspace and navigate to the bin that contains the clips you want to use in the multicam sequence. Come up to these column names and you can click anywhere in these column names, right click and come up here and make sure that camera number is selected. Just tick that and if we scroll along here you can see now that we've got this camera number column. If you want to you can drag this column near the start so you can see it right next to your source clips. Next, select one of your source clips and then click in this camera number column. The box turns red and then type a name for this camera angle. This was shot with an iPhone. This was shot with an A7S III. So let's call this side. And this one was shot with an A7R4. Let's give that a camera number of front. Once you've done that, go and create your multicam sequence as you would ordinarily do. In this case, we're going to sync using the sound embedded in these three video files. So I'm gonna select sound, just gonna untick that so we don't move the source clips. And here's the important bit, underneath this angle name dropdown, instead of using sequential, change this to metadata camera. This is going to use the camera column that we just filled out and then hit create. Here's the multicam clip we just created and we'll go and add that to a timeline. Switch over to multicam edit. Now you can see we've got these camera angles, camera front, camera side and camera iPhone. If you've already created a multicam clip and then you want to go and change the angles after you've created it, what you need to do is come up to the media pool, find the multicam clip, right click on it and then choose open in timeline. Here's our multicam clip and you can see here we've got angle one, angle two and angle three. All you need to do to change the angle name is click on one of these tracks and we'll change angle one, we'll call it iPhone, we'll change angle two track name to side and angle three to front. If we open up a demo sequence and then add this multicam clip, switch over to multicam view. Now you can see we've got the iPhone angle, side angle and front angle. Instead of adjusting audio levels once you've made use of a multicam clip in multiple places, just undo that. You can instead set some audio properties in the actual multicam clip itself. To do that, find the multicam clip in your bin, right click on it and choose open in timeline. This will open up the multicam clip and now you can go and change some of these sound properties. For example, we might want to change this to a mono track because it's dialogue and the same thing with this one. You can also adjust the volumes of these multicam clips, but don't do it using the mixer here. If I just drag this over, watch what happens if I turn down some of these tracks. I'm just going to hit control S to save and we'll just close this multicam clip and then we'll come back to the media pool and right click and open in timeline again. But notice all of these faders have been reset. You can, however, change the volumes of these clips. For example, you can just find this icon here, left click and lower the volume or increase the volume. You can also do this by clicking on it, opening the inspector, coming over to the audio tab and using the volume slider here. Just to show you this, I'm gonna turn down the volume on all of these source multicam clips, head back to the main timeline where we're using this multicam clip and you can see that we've got no waveform now. If we play this back, we've got no audio at all. Sometimes when you're working with multiple cameras in DaVinci Resolve, you might be capturing an entire event, such as a wedding using a main A camera, and then throughout the event, recording smaller clips with a second camera, for example, getting close-ups or detail shots. In this example, we've got three clips recorded with a second B camera, and this A camera is recording the main event, so this camera stays recording for the entire time. If you try and create a multicam sequence using these four clips, just click Create New multicam clip using selected clips. I'm going to call this bad multi because it's not going to work properly and you'll see why in just a second. We're going to sync on the sound from all of the cameras. You can use time code as well and we'll go and click create. If I right click on this bad multi and choose open in timeline, you can see here we've got our main A camera and we've also got these three B camera clips which have been successfully synchronized using the audio but you can see we've got them on multiple tracks when really they can be classed as one angle. So we're going to go and fix this. I'm just going to select bad multi and we'll delete it. What we need to do is come over to the media page. Here's our four clips. Right click on the column headers here and come up and click camera number. And you can see now we've got this camera number column. You might have to scroll across if you can't see it. And all we're going to do is we're going to specify a camera number. So for this single A cam clip, just going to enter A. And then for all of these other ones, I'm going to enter B. We'll just select all of these and go and create our new multicam clip again. This time we'll call it good multi. We'll continue to synchronize the angles using sound. 
but this time we're going to check this box, detect clips from the same camera. When you do this, this box becomes enabled, and in this case, we're going to detect clips from the same camera using this camera number that we filled in just a second ago. Now, if we hit create, wait for DaVinci Resolve to do its thing, right click on good multi and open in timeline, now you can see we've got all of the second B cameras successfully synchronized, but this time only on a single track. And if we were to go and create a new timeline using this multicam sequence, switch to multicam view here. Notice that angle one exists throughout the whole multicam clip, but angle two will only become available, like you can see here, when that second B camera was recording the shorter sequences. If you're trying to create a multicam clip in DaVinci Resolve, but for whatever reason, one of the cameras didn't record any audio and you also don't have time code to sync on, don't worry, there's a solution for this. Here we've got two camera angles that we're going to create a multicam clip from. The first thing you want to do is open up one of the clips, just double click it to open it in the monitor here. And then you're gonna to have to scroll through and you're gonna find an easily recognizable point. You're gonna to have to find this point where both cameras can see it. Ideally, this would be something obvious like a clap sync or a slate or a clapperboard. But if you don't have that, you're gonna to have to try and find a spot that you can easily recognize. If I just zoom in here by using the mouse wheel and then hold down the mouse wheel and scroll across I'm going to hold down K and tap J to go back a few frames. Hold down J and tap L to go forward a few frames. And I'm just going to use the thumbs opening as the point we're going to synchronize the two angles on. I'm going to hit Z on the keyboard to go back to normal view. And then I'm going to hit M once to add a marker. You can see down here, we've got this little blue icon. That's the marker added. We now need to do the same thing on the second clip. I'm just going to scroll through here. Once again, zoom in with the mouse wheel, scroll, hold down K, tap J, thumbs open there, go back one frame, tap M to add another marker. Now select these two clips, right click, choose create new multicam clip, and instead of synchronizing using time code or sound, which we don't have in this instance, we're going to synchronize using this marker option. This is gonna use the two markers we added to match up the two clips in the multicam clip. Just hit create, and if we right click on this new multicam test, choose open in timeline, you can see we've got our two angles here, and they're both synchronized using these markers that we added. If you've created a multicam clip from multiple different camera angles, sometimes when you're editing it, you might want to use just the audio from one of the cameras. For example, this could be the camera with the best microphone. Here's our main timeline. What we're going to do is switch to multicam view here. And whenever I change one of these camera angles, so let's say we switch to the iPhone here and then maybe to the front camera here, by default, it's also going to switch the audio for each of these camera angles. We can take control of this. I'm just going to control Z to undo that. If you just want to change the video and not the audio for the camera angle, you can see by default, this button is lit up. Instead, click this button. And now whenever you change a camera angle, you're only gonna change the picture and not the audio. Let's go and change the camera angles now a few times. And you can see it's just adding cuts for the video and not the audio. Just to undo that. If you actually want a full edit point, just create an edit point as you would normally, for example, using control B, and then we'll switch this segment to maybe the iPhone. But notice that the audio down here doesn't change. We can change this camera angle using control shift left and right. And no matter which camera angle we change, the audio isn't changing. We'll just delete that and then re-add the multicam clip. I'm gonna reset this back to this mode here, the default, and we'll just make some changes. And you can see this time that the waveform is changing to the different camera's audio. So what do you do if you've done a whole edit and then you realize that you've messed up all of this audio? There's a couple of ways you can do it. First of all, hold down the Alt button, select just the audio portions, right click, come up to switch multicam clip angle, and then choose the main audio. So for example, camera front. But if I zoom in here using control plus, notice that it hasn't actually changed it for all of the selected clips. So you could go right click on each one of these audio portions by hand, choose switch multicam clip to front, but that's pretty tedious, especially if you've got tens, hundreds, or even thousands of edit points. If you do find yourself in this situation, there's a little hack that you can do. What you need to do is open up the actual multicam clip by right clicking on it and choosing open in timeline. Here's our three audio tracks from the three different cameras. You're gonna to wanna to back up the multicam clip before you do this. Choose whichever one of these audio tracks you want to be as your main audio track. Hold down Alt and left click it to highlight it. And then with Alt held down, click and drag 
and then click and drag again. And you're basically overwriting the other camera's audio with the same audio clip from one single camera. If we open up the sequence again now, even though this is going to say that these are for different cameras, the front and the iPhone, for example, they're all actually going to be outputting the same audio because each audio track in the Montecam clip is exactly the same. So that's a bit of a hack. If you know a better way, let me know in the comments. Here we've got a timeline where we're making use of a Montecam clip to change angles between different cameras. Sometimes though, you might want to get at the underlying video and audio for one of these Multicam angle clips. The first thing you want to do is select the section that you want to get the underlying video file for, right click and come up to flatten Multicam clip. Choose one of these two options depending on what's happening with your color grade. And you can see now this has changed to the original mp4 clip name that we imported into resolve just right click and choose find in media pool and now we can get to the original video file from that multicam clip 